Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. All right, guys. We are here at the park trying to get some pictures to do some t-shirts this summer so what we're going to do is we got still got a bunch of things we still got to do to the truck to get it ready for this summer but sorry but we're i uh, got a we got a bunch of crap we gotta do. I still gotta order spinners. I still gotta order the uh, roll pan. Still gotta order my seats. Uh, I gotta order the front body kit for it. And then I still gotta do some, uh, gotta get my rockers for it. So as you can tell in the video on one of these rims, the spinner is broke. So gotta get a, new spinner the other ones are not too bad but good definitely gotta get some spinners for it so today what we're doing is the wife was taking some pictures so we can get some t-shirts made this summer and then we are going to just do a quick walk around with it so you guys can see what it looks like outside of the garage trying to get in her way but that's it it's outside wasn't too bad out today beautiful it's starting to get cool out so we ended up getting it out tomorrow it's supposed to be nice again um, the whole front end is pretty much brand new on this truck uh, suspension wise it's uh, three in the front five in the back um, here in a couple weeks about the end of this month maybe we are going to get my leaf springs they're three inch drop leaves from bell tech we're going to buy some leaf springs for the back uh so i can get the air ride system for it so i'm putting a three inch uh, leaf spring in the back lowering leaf again it's from bell tech then i'm going to take the three inch leaf and I might put my two inch lowering block in it. So three, four, five, that's a five inch drop in the back. And then in the front we have, uh, I can't remember what the name of the springs are called for the front. Um, something force, ground force is what's on the front. I'm going to change the ground force springs out because I don't like how they sit inside of the the hole of the frame because they like to twist. Um, so it kind of raises the one side of the truck up a little bit. Um, so I, I really don't like how it's done up. So I'm going to go with uh, Bell Tech. The cheapest ones I found so far is Bell Tech. So that's what we're going to go for. And as it's dirty but we got all brand new suspension we got the new uppers and lowers we got new i forget what those are called <laughs> and then i might get a new set of uh yeah whatever i'll probably do uh two inch drop spindles get a new set of drop spindles and get a set of three inch lowering springs for the front so that should put me almost on the ground but not scraping in this town so that should that should go over the bumps bumps pretty decent where i'm not scraping so other than that um got the new rain visors put on uh, i ordered these last summer and they actually came a couple days ago uh, they was on back order so that's that's what it looks like so far like i said the wife is uh getting uh 
some uh, pictures of it and get some pictures. Turn out okay? I seen you doing your little fancy. The wife, the wife does not like to be on camera, so we're gonna put her on camera. Don't. So she is my. Uh, what do you call those people that takes pictures? Photographer. Yeah, that's. If you want any pictures done, call her. She help you. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to end this. Like I said, it turned out to be a nice day. I think tomorrow is supposed to be nice too, right? Halfway decent, I think. Halfway decent. Who knows? Who knows? We're in Ohio. Ohio wants to be everything. So I will catch you guys later. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification wherever it's at. It's somewhere around there. And uh, follow me. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thank you for stopping by at Midwest Scraping.